So today is uh, the Shera, is a very big day in India. They say on this day Ravana was pure. He was the first enemy of human beings and he was killed. So whatever it is then, as a memory of that great man, Sri Ram, they celebrate today the Shara. And on this day, they say, those who are dushtas with bad people, or we can say negative, they are killed. Can you imagine? <coughs> so this day is regarded as a very important day in India. And they make a big statue of Ravana. You all know who was Ravana? Yes, no, yes. Who Sri Rama killed? He was a horrible fellow and he took away the wife of Sri Ram, Sita, by force. But she was such a chaste woman that he couldn't touch her. He tried, he couldn't touch her. He couldn't achieve any power over her. On the contrary, she was very powerful. So, at that time, Sri Rama's mother-in-law, I should say, who was the wife of Tashrata, she said, she used to, she's like a big uh, sadhuni and she said that from today two marriages are not allowed, only one. So among Hindus there is only one marriage. They don't have two marriages. And regarded as uh, very sinful to have another woman according to Indian culture. There are some people who do it, but it's wrong. It's not Indian. The father-in-law passed the law because he has, he suffered, he had two wives. And one of them tried to send Sri Ram to the jungle. She was so cruel because she wanted her son to become the king. And as it was the mistake of the father that he had prom promised that he will give her a boon because she had saved him in war. And so now she asked him to send Sri Ram to the Vanavas, to the jungle. By second one she asked to give the kingdom to her son, who was Lakshmana. But when Lakshmana came, he didn't want. He said, I don't want to take Sri Rama's uh, seat because it is his right. So he went to Sri Ram 
in the jungle requested him to you must come you must come to ayodhya to the capital city and you should be crowned sri ram said i can't do it i have to fulfill my father's wish but at that moment the father said that in india nobody will have second marriage because of two wives the whole family suffered so he said only we can have today in india they believe that you should have only one wife but uh, what you find in another countries that people may not have another wife but they have affairs and they do not respect their wives this is very sad and uh, this makes the country suffering because if the women are treated like that the women suffer and if the mother suffers the children suffer so he made a law that nobody will marry twice only mohammad sahab said all right we can have four marriages because the there was so much killing and so few men were left many women and very few men so he said that all right you can have four wives each solve the problem it does not it does not solve the problem even the muslims now have this problem they marry four times no doubt but if you see their family life they are very sad we indians should not learn anything from them on the contrary we have to tell the whole world that don't run after women look after yourself which is um, in the west people have no sense they have uh, one wife of course they don't have two wives but uh, they carry on with another woman in search of its band to do these things and if they do it like that i tell them that to divorce and then i arrange their marriages but very sad because why should they under the influence of western life try to have another wife and make the whole thing so polluted their children suffer mainly If the morality of the place is not good the new generation the children they suffer and what do we have a sick country english were once upon a time very proud and very sensible but now they have become very unhappy somewhere else and this is a very sad thing in sahaj yoga we do not tolerate this you have to have one wife and you have to live with one wife some women are obstinate all right i say you can leave sahaj yoga 
and some men are also very troublesome. So I tell them, you leave Sir Yoga. If you want to have the advantage of being a Sir Yogi, then you cannot marry another woman or another man. You have to lead a happy life with each other. If you can't do it, then you get out of Sergio. But there are some people who had horrible times with their wives or husbands. So what I have said that, all right, those who are flirting and are not having a proper uh, personality, they can't be in Sergio. We have to make very pure society. Our duty is to show that we can live happily without fighting. And the Sajogis are known to be very sensible husbands. I am very happy to see you all here. I know some of them, I, I have married them and they are very happy. So I have to tell all of you, men and women, that we have to lead a dedicated life. If the husband is flirting, let him go to hell. Or if the wife is flirting, let her go to hell. We are Sahaja Yogis and we have to keep our characters good. If you have a good character, you enjoy life of your own. If you have a frivolous life, you can never enjoy. You go on running after this one and that one. Such people can never be happy and they do all kinds of nonsense and waste their lives. But by the time they die, their condition is so bad, very bad. Such people suffer a lot. I have seen them suffering, suffering so badly. So we are husband and wife to enjoy each other and to lead a happy life, not to become miserable. All of you know married in Sahaja Yoga. Maybe some of you haven't tested a good married life, but what to do? That's not a mistake with Sahaja Yoga is the mistake with you, yourself, and mistake with your wife. So, everybody must stand up on the right and lead a right life instead of wasting energy over quarreling and fighting. Try to find out why do you quarrel and why do you fight? On what points there are differences? There has to be difference, doesn't matter. After all, you are two persons. There has to be differences. But difference doesn't, should not create problem. On the contrary, you must enjoy the difference as long as you are a dedicated wife and you have a dedicated husband, you can never enjoy life. All the time you will be worried and upset. So all of you, I thank you very much. That on such a great auspicious day you all have come. And I all look very happy. Thank you very much.
Thank you. In Australia, did you get fra fragrance? Yes, some fragrant ah. flowers. Some fragrant flowers, Sri Mataji. Mm -hmm. But here, no. Not so many now. How to say? How to say? I don't know why. <laughs> In India, I have even a small flower. Yeah. India has quite this quality. Yeah. I don't know. There's something. In the soil, mm. that whatever you grow, there is fragrance. Mm. Soil is quite dry in Australia. Have to grow the flowers for the. For the That's soil. a uh, I think a very religious country. People are having a kind of, a, and they keep to it. But some of them are horrid, no doubt. Australia has um, a problem in living drought for seven years. It has not been raining very much, and the country is suffering. Yes. Drought. No, no rain, she might have been. Ah. So, with your blessings, maybe the rains will start to come. In India? In Australia. <laughs> <laughs> the rain will come back. Australia, you don't have a rain? No rain, she might have been. For seven years, it's not been raining very much. So there's farmers and everyone's going through a hard they time. They drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if they should stop drinking, things will improve. God is also angry. There is uh, drinking and divorcing. I worked very hard for Australia. Yes, sir. thank you, Shimon. Thank you, Shimon. I don't know what happened. Say bye. Hey, Ramon, come on, make a laugh. I'm thinking, well, maybe. You have made a Ravan also. Huh? We have made a Ravan also. Uh, yes. Uh, at Starkfield, where the program is happening. Then you are going to burn it down? Yes, well, with this I guess. Shmaraji, <laughs> 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 um... I found this flower today and I thought you would like it. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not going to